Hey, you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3 as Canada. We are continuing our pursuit of being an economic powerhouse if we can. Uh, we are, we're still getting a little bit of basic stuff that's overall missing in the British market and that probably really can't be uh, supplied by uh, trade routes. Uh, getting a couple of whaling stations just to get a little bit of oil production because there's a, a demand for it. It's pretty small still, but I think it's going to be okay. The arms industry is going to be a big one. I really want the British market to have access to a lot of cheap weapons uh, because, it, you know, maybe we'll use it. You know, we'll see exactly how much warfare we get into. Ooh, I don't have that bureaucracy boost. I'll take the bureaucracy boost for now. That's going to be okay. Um, yeah, the thing is, if the British have strong stuff, we might be able to consider taking another whack at the U.S. But in general, also, I think the weapons industry is going to make good money for us for a fairly long time. It's definitely something we don't want to be reliant on for um, for imports, I think. I don't think that's a very secure place to be. All right, these guys want wealth wood, and we're not currently pushing a law change right now. That's okay. Um, steel mills. I think I'm going to queue up the steel mills. I'm going to queue up three more in Ontario. So we can get to a total of four and advance down here. I think the next thing it's going to ask us is to make coal and iron super cheap, if I recall correctly. I'm going to keep pushing through there. This chemical plant is making no money. I'm unable to hire. It's the fertilizer price is just so low. We only have three chemical plants as well. And they're trying to produce as many explosives as possible. I mean, I guess I could change you to not produce fertilizer. That seems a little bit foolish. Ooh, electric fence. Yeah, we don't have electricity, though. I don't think we... Yeah, we really don't have another use of fertilizer. Electric saws. Soon. We do have a lot of logging, but that makes sense. There you go. France is really in a bad shape right now. We are running a big deficit. That's exactly as expected. Low market access. This is going to hurt our economy a lot until we can get our convoys back up. Mostly, I think it's going to need this war against France to end. It's actually about that time, though. You know what? These numbers are going to get worse over here. It's not just that they're getting sunk. It's that more and more of the production is going towards making steamers. Oh, this will stop tour. Oh, it's just during the election. Who's this for? Liberal conservatives. Ooh, lower rail building throughput. It would be a shame if that campaign train kept suffering delays. Uh, lower the momentum. And it hurts the throughput even more. I guess I'll just do campaigning by rail as a smart move. All right. That's fine. I guess. Okay. Great Britain just GG out of the war. Ooh, they're infamous. Woo! I think at 50 is like the super break point for like the world declaring war on you here. All right. Well, hopefully now that we're at peace, our convoy situation is going to improve. Oh, available convoys is actually pretty decent. And I mean, we still have this note about our trade route. We need 600. Oh, that's a lot of convoys it needs. I mean, I think it's still producing it. We might just not be getting all of it, but I think it's still good for us. Land of Plenty. What is this? Oh, Liberal Party Boost or Intelligentsia. Who's this guy? <laughs> Intelligentsia. I mean, both of them kind of work out. You know what? Let's get the Intelligentsia. If we can get back... First of all, we can make them happy and get propagandists, but also if they're... Oh, I got an achievement unlock. Institutional? What is this achievement? Have an institution at maximum investment level. Oh, hey! My first achievement, I think, because I was running on the pre-release version before. Look at that. Yeah, we are level five education. Beautiful. I don't, I'm not as worried about boosting the healthcare. I mean, I know we push through the law. I mean, it's just such so much of our population growth happens from immigration. It feels like the natural aspect doesn't matter too much. But screw it. I can eat the uh, the bureaucracy cost. 
leave that for now. Okay, there'll be an election. We'll see how that shakes out. Still need more convoys, but I'm still gonna let this go through. Okay, arms and Did we already build one? Oh, that's wrong. Side. Over here. Arms, arms and tree. This treaty. Okay. Next twat. Good for them. Okay, rifles starts consuming steel. Okay. And smooth bores. Not as profitable as cannons. But I think it's going to be okay. It's keeping the price of steel up a little bit higher. And we're going to keep watching that and, you know, probably produce more steel. Again, yeah, we've got we've got more steel mills in the queue. Steel mills, which are super duper profitable now. Incredibly profitable. Yeah. All right, as expected. Keep developing the arms industries. Actually, maybe I'll, sh I'll shift one steel mill a little higher in priority here. Just to make sure it gets full construction boost. All right. And open hearth process for our steel mills. Beautiful. How's our government feeling? There we go. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it as is. We might be able to get a little bit more legitimacy with more if we maybe move something out, but I think I'm happy with this. Uh, steel mills. Yes. Open hearth process. We're here. Okay. It's profitable. It'll consume more iron, but iron prices are fine, and produce more steel, which is actually going to maintain fairly decent steel prices even with that. And we're hiring higher tier people, but it seems to be working out okay. All right. Rifling successfully completed. Um. Oh, that's that's an event. Hello. Hey, because we switched from smoothbore muskets to rifles. Beautiful. Saskatchewan Modern Rifle Arsenal. Increased throughput, more migration. Or we get progress towards repeaters. So less migration, less throughput. But we get a tech progress. I think I'll just take the throughput and migration right now. I think that's going to be very useful for us. You know, why don't I give you some uh, greener grasses campaign as well. Keep your population nice and high. Years doesn't really affect us. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll have the level four steel mills. Once they're fully occupied, that quest will complete. A little bit more arms industries as well. That all seems really good. Oh, we can support more declared interests. We're currently major power. Good for us. Um, I'll redeclare over here and here. And then once that happens, we can see maybe if a colony becomes available once that's processed. Je ne code. Yeah, that's just naval bases, which we're really not doing much with right now. We could start constructing a wee bit of a navy to escort our convoys next time we're in a major war, but I don't think that's going to be really helpful for us. All right, how are we feeling laws-wise? What can we do over here? I might just wait until we... We might unlock feminism relatively soon and start to push those laws. That's going to be much better. Um, I'm still kind of like a dedicated police force. You know, now's time. Let's get the RCMP going on. Right? Exactly. No one really minds that too much. We're going to become a little bit more mature, more sophisticated. Okay, construction is starting to catch up again. Let's get some shipyards. It's an extension of just building military. Keep it reasonably priced. Convoys in the British market are... They're fine. Okay, good. So yeah, our market access is fine everywhere. Rubber still expensive. Oh, right. I was going to research rubber mastication. Oh, which I am researching rubber mastication. Yeah, and we'll, we'll put out a bunch of that. Maybe we can become, like, the dominant source of rubber and trade it away and things. Pan-nationalism kicked in for free. Okay, that's fine. More authority, but I don't think we really need that too badly. 
But yeah, let's we'll build a few more man wars. Which I think, um. Oh, we can move to reinforced ships, first of all. Make more clippers, which seems like a good idea. And I'm gonna move to extensive shipbuilding. Yeah. Although that does produce fewer convoys. But I think it is gonna be a good idea overall. Um, as long as we can keep... Yeah, hardwood prices have gone up substantially. Now, I don't know if there's a lot of hardwood options for us to import. Mm, yeah, 10, 10, 25 from Scandinavia. All right, let's pull in a little bit of hardwood over there, but I think really it's our job to be producing enough hardwood. I think that's really our role. Go oh, away. Because it's making me think, oh, there's a new tech I unlocked that I didn't do. I'm hoping that, like, the switching back and forth doesn't break everything. So our logging camps, uh, if we get electricity, we can boost it up. What I might do is I'm going to put automatic expansion on logging camps for a little bit. I'll just turn it off in a bit, but we'll just it'll just auto-queue a bunch of logging camps, and I think that's going to be a good thing for the overall health of the market. Plus, just generally making a bunch of money. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so we got the steel mills. We have a couple of motor industries and have the price of iron, coal, and steel in the British market cheap. Now, that's going to be a big ask because we're part of a big market. Again, we don't have to do this, but it, it does give us interesting direction. I do think it would be a good idea to get a motor industry going. I can't remember if I have one. No. How is the market for motors... I think that's under here. It looks like locomotives. Yeah, they're fairly pricey. All right. I'm just going to put it on Ontario because that's where our steel plants are, so it feels thematically like it makes sense. So yeah, we'll throw those in. You can see the logging camps have come in as well. I'm going to let those three finish first. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with how things are overall. Ooh, all right. Orders uh, are starting to look a little bit more current. Oh, any more colonists? Yeah. Perfect. We'll probably build some more ports in these isolated areas, actually. Now have dedicated police force. Nice. Okay, that's in Heroa Land. And in... Namaqualand. Okay. Let those go. Yeah, we still don't have the like crazy migrate or um colonization things either. Rural forces. Yeah, technology spread discount is actually kind of annoying for rural folks. <sighs> okay. Oh, needs more to increase its level. Oh, okay. So it's not that we don't have enough to just run in general. Wow, GDP. Now up to 20 million. Wow, it took a big tick up there with some of our tech changes, which is nice. And yeah, our financial situations, or standard living's pretty good. Population keeps going up as expected. We are expected to have a bureaucratic shortfall. I guess the thing to do, oh, you did reach level 10 admin office. How's Ontario and start taxation? Oh, it's still fine. So in theory, if I were to build more, I should keep building it here for the throughput. Get a couple more. Q's getting big. We're not actually spending much per month. We could probably support one more construction. Nothing's very expensive. Hmm. We could probably support one more construction industry. Yeah, low market access. This is just the unconnected things. Coal and iron is expensive in the British market still. I'm actually surprised it's not complaining about the price of hardwood. Um. Yeah, I mean... There you go. It's gone down to be less insane than it was. 
still kind of on the high side. But yeah, I suppose what I could do is... Is it time to do any of these yet? Okay, I guess it's fine. Um, is maybe just keep going. Especially since we do have the goal here to make iron, coal, and steel cheap. We might want to say, listen, if you've got a profitable coal mine or iron mine, go ahead and expand. I'll turn off the auto expansion on the logging camps for now. And yeah, for the steel mills, you are currently not profitable. Iron. Yeah, the iron price is fluctuating a lot. Okay, let's focus on... Ooh, what is this? Trade with the United States. Um... Class above nation. What is this? Oh, trade unions. Unpatriarchate ideas. Trade unions are... Okay, they'd still be at a plus 10 with me if I did this. So I'm going to do that. I, mean, I guess we should focus on the iron mines first. So they'll auto-queue up as soon as this trims down a little bit. Oman won their, won their war against uh, Russia. All right, cool. Very cool. Great for us. All right, I still want to build these ports. Oh, well, yeah, I definitely want to build them because those are the new ports over here so that we reach things. Um, but also, our convoy situation could continue to be helped. Boost infrastructure in these places as well, which I suppose isn't a hardship either. But yeah, mostly it's making sure they're not isolated the same way. And yeah, our, the colonization rates are still bad unless they, they start a war. Uh, oh, specialized good production kicked in. Oh, it's probably from the motor industry. Let me just check. I can't go any higher with colonial affairs right now. No. And we have colonial resettlement, which I think is still fine. Okay. We'll complete of exports for engines. So if we're exporting engines, that'll complete that. Buildings have tractors and things, steam donkeys, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, well that's not gonna happen because I'm not gonna be controlling the customs union. Okay. That's fine. So I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna worry about advancing this because I don't think we're actually gonna be able to finish this as Canada. Not for a while, who knows? Things might change. Achievement unlock Poppy Dock. Oh, I can click on this to open this, that's nice. Although it doesn't send it to Poppy Dock. Have at least a level 8 port and export at least 2,500 units of opium to foreign markets. Export? I'm assuming that must be something happening in the British market as a whole, not for what I'm doing. Oh, steamers have gone down, but fancy clothes has gone up. Restore no police, not gonna happen. Trade routes need convoys, that's still to increase this level, but we did get the extra ports. Rubber mastication is done. Okay. And more tech. Electrical capacitors. Well, that's kind of spread on its own. I don't think it's this is necessary until we actually get electrical um, generation up. We should really get steam donkeys. That's going to free up a lot of workers as well and improve things. So we're going to do that. But we're going to manually queue up a bunch of rubber plantations. So actually, right now, what's the demand for rubber? Is it in this category? Of industrial goods. Okay, is it military? Is rubber no longer in the list of things that are super valuable? I need a text based list here. Because I don't know what rubber looks like. Oh, it's here. No, the price for rubber just dropped like crazy. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Um. Oh, yeah, a bunch of rubber plantations have been built. Okay, so maybe researching that tech is not actually all that helpful right now. But we'll keep an eye on the rubber price. So I won't rush out to build the rubber plantations. We're going to keep focusing on our mines currently. So yeah, Britain must have developed a bunch. We'll see.
these things are going to take a while to incorporate. Maybe I won't worry about these. We can still use these as places just to boost our economy in places. But their population's maybe not going to be that high to be meaningful. I don't know. Uh, landowners already hate me, right? Oh, no, they don't actually currently. Tax income loss sucks. Should I just take the authority hit? I think I might. I'm gonna cancel a greener grasses campaign so we're not negative here. I think that's gonna have to do. Oh, France is annexed air. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, my poor little independent air. Mm. Okay. What do we want to build next? Oh, rubber prices just went up like crazy again. Because the buy orders just went up like crazy. Oh, for textile mills, barracks. Okay, I think there's a legitimate... Like, I, th I think it'll legitimately be useful here. Let's put in... Um... Yeah, we could support quite a bit. I'm going to start with three in Guinea. Oh. Oh, that's his limit. Oh, shit, yeah, we might just want to hit the limit in a bunch of these places. But let's start with just that and see where we're at. Especially since there's some fluctuation. But yeah, some of our some of our modes that we do ourselves, not just the British modes, might be a big thing. Okay, if we want to electrify, what's the deal with this? It consumes engines and produces electricity. It gives lots of urbanization as well. Well, I guess that's the same for all these, yeah, all these urban buildings. Okay, we got electrical capacitors spread to us. We, we could already benefit from electricity, especially if the price of engines isn't too bad, which right now it's very middle tier, and we can increase maybe uh, the engine production. I believe in Ontario, because we have Niagara Falls, we have increased electric electricity output. So we want to, as much as possible, build our power plants over here. I'm going to put a subsidize just to make sure the, the first one can be hired and then we can start to assign some some things. Yeah, finish that. Finish some rubber plantations. We're not using it directly, but the British market definitely is. We won't, I suppose we won't be taxing that, but that's true. Unless I go and integrate Guinea. And maybe I won't worry about the overseas stuff too much. If it's not, if the lack of rubber isn't hurting me directly, yeah, maybe I'll just leave it there. Still might be nice just to boost things. All right, but rubber is being discovered everywhere. Coal still pricey in the British market. Oh, and speaking of, uh, yeah, you just use engines. Interesting, you don't burn coal by default or anything like that. Maybe there's different... Oh, there are different modes. Oh, yeah, we're just going to run hydroelectric, I guess, to start off with. I wonder if you can run this everywhere? Huh. Put a little auto-expando on this. Maybe I'll cancel the iron, iron auto-expand. Just trying to save myself a few clicks right now. The auto-expand says pros and cons. Could still use more convoys in theory. I don't know if that's the right thing to build right now, though. But yeah, if we go and enable electricity at a bunch of our buildings, they're going to be much more productive. If there's anything that makes sense to maybe have an auto expand, it might be the power plants. Actually. Because as long as you're turning a profit, that's going to be very nice. Oh, a few of these things are maybe losing profits. Still enough workers in Ontario, which is going to be nice. Rank dropping isn't the end of the world. Interesting. Why are... Maybe the new uh, coal plants aren't fully... fully staffed yet. Yep, 
Yeah. Oh, there's only one place making the coal. So yeah, that place has to refill its population, its, its workers again, before it'll rehire. So I'm going to get a few in a few different places. Just so that they can spread out their hiring queues and stuff. Event in Null State. All right, thanks, Null State. Uh, this thing again. You know, I don't care about the Netherlands. We'll just break their friendship some more. I don't think that hurts for us. We do have low government legitimacy. Seriously? Zero? Well, it's a good thing we're doing an election. Just wait for the election to finish and then do a swap. Wow. Wish the industrials liked me more. Mutual funds. Okay. More minting. Reduce loan interest. But all of our businesses can move to publicly traded. So privately owned increases aristocrats. Publicly traded increases capitalists. Aristocrats are tied to landowners. Capitalists are heavily tied to industrialists. Um, and capitalists are more likely to spend money in the investment fund. So I think overall that is what we want. I don't know if there's a big risk to doing like a crazy amount super fast. I guess the capitalists get paid more, so that's why these things would lose a little bit of money. Let me flip a couple over here. Oh, coal mine. Um, oh, yeah, you can all be on auto buy. That's fine. And yeah, you should all be profitable. You just zero money in a bunch of them right now because they're still being built. They don't exist yet. Money is still positive despite not having anything in the investment pool. I think we will build another uh, construction. I guess more efficiency of scale, although we are starting to put a lot of industry in Ontario now. Maybe... I'm going to build two in Washington. I'm going to put one at the top of the queue. We'll let that finish, evaluate our money, and then bring the other one up, I think. Because I suspect we're going to be okay. Industrialists. They don't like the subsistence farms. Call their device. Uh, stating in the... Um, to increase migration. Oh, I guess we want to increase migration. That's going to be fine. Okay. Let's bring in another construction sector. Actually, quite surprising to me. That that's still okay. Okay, and then we'll let that go. But I think... It's weird, because it says it's going to cost us an extra 6k, but it actually seems okay. All right, I mean, we are running a deficit now, like, fair enough. Oh, it probably hadn't hired the people yet. That's why the numbers didn't change immediately. Okay, I think I'm still fine with it. Raising concerns about what? I want the industrialists on my side. Yeah, the rural folk can go away. I don't care about them. All right, there's our election. Let's reform. I like having the industrialists and the trade unions. Oh, the landowners want to join the Liberal Conservative Party. Okay, there you go. Well, I guess that's going to have to do. Any law pushes? Yeah, I still don't have better laws for that. Radicalize industrialists. I'd really rather not. Industrialists would be fine with moving up to wage subsidies. I don't know how much I actually care about bringing that up. Workers' protections. Oh, interesting. The industrialists won't... Oh, yeah. Well, that's because they like me enough. They won't be radicalized. Uh, multiple new production methods. Workplace safety. Bureaucracy cost. Maybe. Oh, we still have a professional army. Radicalize the landowners, which would kick them out of government, which may or may not be the end of the world. Radicalize the Anglican Church. Oh, this might not be bad. Yeah, booster technology spread. We'd lose a little of authority, but that's okay. Yeah. And then we can do guaranteed liberties as well. I think that's going to be decent for us. I like that it's going to increase the tech spread, although we are getting a malice to that because of our freaking rural folk. Brr, them and their old ways. All right, there you go. Yeah, spamming out lots of coal mines right now. We're going to want to keep an eye on the price of coal.
but it's still still pretty high and yeah it still has like a 2k deficit so we're not going to overcome that with these coal mines the only question is, is would we rather be building something else rather than the coal mines you know and that can keep varying arms industry is not very profitable well right now small arms aren't worth very much and uh hardwood's still fairly pricey which is still used in shipbuilding now i know there's still a shortage of coal overall i might want to leave that but i think we are going to want to increase our um our lumber mills although i guess the big thing for that is we need to get electricity let me pause that so we do have our first power plant up right we're gonna have it be publicly traded that's fine hydroelectric which right now yeah i mean we're currently not needing to subsidize it i mean whether i have it on or not it's not costing me any money um you are on auto expand which i think is what i'm going to want to do in fact i'm going to queue up the next one already for you you consume engines, which right now the price is okay. Electricity is still really expensive right now in the British market. So let's not change any of your production to use electricity quite yet. Can I build, like, the hydroelectric anywhere? I guess if I supplement it with coal or oil, no matter what, we do produce more. And then as soon as the price of electricity starts to dip, what's going to happen is... And it's going to happen pretty quick. There aren't that many buy orders. We'll be able to switch some of our industries over to use electricity. Although, a lot of our industries are fairly heavily stacked. If they're spread out a bit, we can do it like piecemeal to switch over. Oh, yes. I will take the free university on Ontario. Thank you. I'm surprised it took us that long to get that event. Feels like we normally get it quite a lot quicker. Back group dealings. And that chance goes down either way. I'm going to go with throw them to the wolves, lose some bureaucracy, although we still have a positive there, which is good. Um, I think, yeah, to spread out the hiring, I think I will go and build a power plant in Quebec and British Columbia as well. And they can all be on auto-expand. It's nice that we can actually make money selling the electricity as is, which makes sense. I think Canada is a next net energy um, exporter. A lot of it hydroelectric, to the point where, like, literally Canadians refer to electrical company companies as hydro companies. We just, like, when my power goes out, it's because my hydro has gone out. Because, like, I live in Ontario, and the provincial supplier of power is Hydro Ontario. And in my town, it's Hydro Sudbury. Sudbury Hydro, sorry. Ontario Hydro, Sudbury Hydro. Even though we don't have a uh, we don't have a hydroelectric dam in Sudbury, as far as I know, I like think we got a little bit of rail stations, not too many. We probably need to get some more levels on that. But right now, the amount of rail we've got is sufficient. Wow, there's a lot of journal entries going on. Oh, and we can run more of these. We can also do the Niger River expedition. Let's go and do that. Uh, Pacific Coast. Monk is Canadian. Mount Castle is New England. Oh. Dude, these are really expensive. Holy crap. Can I change my mind? No? Wow. Okay, these costs have just gone up a lot. Oh, I am doing some subsidies. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, what am I subsidizing again? I mean, I know I had it on for electricity, which didn't matter. I have auto expand over here. Oh, no, it's actually off right now. Um, I don't see the subsidy button on those. Railroads? It might be the railroad subsidies. I don't know. New publicly traded railroads, because why not? I wonder if I should cut back on my troops. Expedition embarks. Alright, well, let's do that. Okay, the deficit's not as crazy as it was. Keep building me power plants, please. And if you're not building a power plant, you can probably keep building um, logging camps. But what I'm wondering about... There you go. You'd be okay. You'd be okay. 
Okay. I wonder if I just switched everything to electric. No, then it would figure there'd be a loss because it would be too expensive. So yeah, I'm going to try to switch over electricity from expensive to expensive. Maybe I'll wait there. Looks like we're maybe sort of hitting our cap on electricity. I mean, we could look at the actual market orders and things to compare, but yeah. Right now, yeah, zero because you're not built yet. Everything's on auto expand. So whenever they're fully hired and saved up some money, they'll expand a little bit. Aniline. Ooh, that's interesting. Artificial dyes and things. Ontario market access. This is this actual infrastructure? It's actual infrastructure in Ontario that's short. Well, I'll probably just build another railroad. Although it's not currently making money. Huh. I guess the um, transportation costs. Well, we're also doing capitalists instead. That may be part of it. We'd save a little bit more money if we went to something else. Actually, then it would be slightly positive. Um. Okay, I need another level of you because I need the infrastructure. What I kind of need is I need transportation costs to almost rise up. Now, I don't think that's something we can import and export. As far as I know, all my buildings are set to use railroad, which consumes transportation. So, I mean, I suppose if coal mines, iron mines, lead mines, sulfur mines, um, and maybe even tobacco plantations, actually, and the logging camps, these are all things that consume transportation. Oh, the rubber plantation over here. Yeah, you can use that. Why not? And actually, what is the cost of rubber on the market? Okay, it's not super expensive, but it ain't bad. I'm still wondering about... Yeah, I'm going to go build the rest of the rubber uh, plantations immediately. How come I can't see it? Is it not under that? Oh, it might be under resource. It is. Okay. Two and four over there. We're just going to lock those in. Oh, expedition member drowns. Minor peril, peril. Well, let's just do minor peril. That's unfortunate. Ooh, wow, money went crazy positive. Oh, we had some investment pool saved up. And that's the thing. We're going to get more and more of it if we do have more capitalists. We also have a lot of influence being unspent. Floating harbor is fine. What are we about to get? Oh, the steam donkey. Yeah, I think that's going to be really good for us. Protected speech wouldn't be bad. Kidnap. Oh, man. They'll need to figure it out. We do have the money right now. That's really expensive. I'm going to do this. If it fails, it fails. Deal with it. Let me just see about making friends. France. Scan Ooh, Scandinavia formed. Oh. In fact, the Netherlands. Look at you. All right. Scandinavia. Sweden not OP, right? Are these a little cheaper? Yeah, they're all three years. Um, industry. Steel railway cars, cars actually might be a nice thing. What about the rotary valve engine? Consumes more tools, consumes more coal, frees up some workers. Vulcanization is another rubber thing. We get elastics for textile mills. Consuming rubber, which we do produce. Um, I don't think I'm going down military, although I could research um, repeaters for our arms industry, but I don't think that's a priority. It'll happen when it happens. Camera is about to finish. Elevators does give us a little bit more infrastructure. Feminism three years. Civilized mission is three and then nine for malaria because it is a tier four. Okay, let's grab feminism now. We'll see if we can push out um, better laws for women. Despite not paying the ransom. Yeah, more peril. Rubber rush, that's fine. Bureaucratic. Oh, yeah, no matter what, this kind of sucks. What's brewing? Nothing I particularly care about. 
I'll just declare neutrality to get rid of that pop-up completely. All right, get the Netherlands like, I guess I gotta put a cut in, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Ooh, attack on the river. Again, just run for some progress. Okay, we're gonna put a cut in now. Uh, we are 12th ranked nation in the world, which is pretty good for our little baby country. We've got the 10th GDP in the world. Per capita is uh, pretty good as well, I feel like. Yeah, I think we keep becoming kind of an economic powerhouse. One question could become like, I would love to just break away from these guys. I guess if we become a higher rank and if we build more of a military, we might be able to do that. But it's not hurting us. We don't mind being in the, the British market. And really, what would independence give us? Honestly, not that much. Yeah, I, I don't think our, I hate our situation at all. We should be still getting plenty of immigration from the British market. I don't think there's any reason for us to leave it. I think we're perfectly fine being part of the Dominion. You know, we can be... Uh, well, we're not the Gem Hadar, because obviously Great Britain's doing most of the fighting. So, I don't know, we can be the other guys. Can't remember the name. Vorcha? Am I thinking of different sci-fi series slash game? Vorta. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, ships of the Air. Research Zeppelins. That is really funny. I love the idea of Zeppelins. It sounds great. Oh, if we built a level 3 university and level 3 arts academy, we could finish Freedom of Thought. I might throw a little of that in there. We'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.